today on Let's Talk Drinks, I'm gonna make four of my favorite Sam Ross cocktails, so stay tuned. Hey guys, so if you are in the cocktail industry and have not heard of Sam Ross out of New York City, originally from Melbourne, where have you been? I'm going to make four of my favorite cocktails that were created by Sam Ross, and the first one that I'm going to do is the Fort Lauderdale. So this was created in 2018 by Sam Ross at Attaboy, and the first ingredient that it calls for is 40 mils of gin. I'm going to use the Ford's gin because it's uh, very sort of high in juniper, super tasty, it's been created for bartenders and it's strong enough to really come through in all of the cocktails that it's in. So 40 mils. Next up, 15 mils of Campari for a little bit of bitterness. And 15 mils of apricot brandy. I'm using the De Kuiper. Fifteen mils of Auger. Auger, Auget, however you want to pronounce it. And last but not least, 20 mils of freshly squeezed lemon juice. I'm gonna give that a shake. Nice. And I'm going to double strain into a chilled coupette. And for my garnish, just a lemon twist. That is the Fort Lauderdale. Not known uh, as much, I guess, as some of his more famous cocktails that we're going to do soon. Gonna give it a try. Love the color, by the way. Wow, really, really nice. The gin's coming through. That apricot brandy, beautiful. With the citrus as well. Really, really nice. Kind of looks a little bit like a Cosmo. Uh, I'm surprised that it's not as well known as, say, for example, the penicillin on the paper plane. This is a beautiful drink. Really nice bitterness at the end uh, with the Campari. I find that it, it's pretty sweet at the start, but that Campari just uh, balances it perfectly. Love it. Okay, so this is one of my favorite Sam Ross cocktails. It is called the paper plane. I know it's considered a contemporary classic nowadays. And what I love about it too is it's really simple. It's equal parts, four ingredients. First up, we're gonna start with 20 mils of bourbon. I'm going to use the old Forester. It's a house bourbon here at the 18th Amendment bar. Next up, 20 mils of Aperol. Twenty mils of Amaro Nonino. I really love this stuff too. Super tasty, digestive. And last but not least, twenty mils of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Add some ice. Give it a shake. It is double strained into a chilled cocktail glass. Now I would normally use a smaller cocktail glass than this, as you can see, it looks a little bit sort of short, but I'm going to do something a little bit different for a garnish. Okay, so normally it is a paper plane but we like doing a little bit of theater here at the 18th Amendment Bar. So we're gonna make this paper plane pretty much go up in flames. And there you go, guys. That is the paper plane. Now I forgot to try it. And guys, when you use, if you're going to use flash paper for that theater, you have to make sure that you make the drink a few times, get that paper plane exactly right so it doesn't fall right into the drink. 
Um, but it gives a really sort of nice smell, like a gunpowder smell, uh, where the guest is, is sitting there drinking as well. Oh. So well balanced, really, really nice. That Amaro Nanino really kicks it off. I can see why he used that type of uh, Amaro for it. Yum, gotta try it. Sam Ross cocktail number three is the Conquistador. So, this is a rum and tequila cocktail and it calls for 30 mils of Methuselah Gram Reserva, which is a delicious aged rum. 20 mils of a Blanco tequila. I'm going to use Patron. Twenty-two and a half mils of simple syrup or sugar syrup. Fifteen mils of fresh lemon juice. Fifteen mils of fresh lime juice. Now twenty mils of egg white or aquafaba. I like to use aquafaba. And just a couple dashes of Regan's orange bitters. Well, that's nice. Okay, I've given it a really good shake because once again, I didn't dry shake because I'm lazy. Strain into a chilled coupette. And just a lemon twist for a garnish. They have the conquistador. So good. Yeah, yum. Rum, tequila together, works really well. Uh, the lemon and lime, I can get why he's done that. It's not sort of super, super sweet, uh, but it does give a little bit of extra zing to the lime juice itself. The bitters tie in really well. That's another great cocktail, well done, Sam. All right, so last but not least, it is by far the most famous of the Sam Ross cocktails. It is penicillin, it is a modern day classic, and it is bloody, 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 bloody delicious. Let's see what goes in it. So the first ingredient that we're going to use is 60 mils of a blended or single malt. I'm going to use Krabby's Yard Head Single Malt Whiskey. So it's 60 mils or two ounces. Next up, I'm going to use 15 mils of a ginger liqueur. This is the Domaine de Canton. Next up, 22.5 mils of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Then 22 and a half mils of a honey syrup. It's very easy to make. It's just three parts honey to one part water. Give it a shake. Now this cocktail is served over ice. I like to do it in a large block of ice, just so it doesn't dilute down too much the cocktail when you're drinking it. Going to double strain that. And for a garnish, I just use a candied piece of ginger. And that is penicillin. So let's give it a try. I forgot to do something. The hero part of this drink is it needs a float of a pit of whiskey on top. I knew as soon as I tasted it. So uh, you can use Laphroaig. I'm going to use the Beaumont number one. It's not as peated. I find that for customers and friends, it is a little bit sort of easier if they're not used to drinking peated. Luckily, this isn't going out for a customer because uh, I can't after I've tasted it like that. So just a little bit of a float. Now I'll try again. Uh, 
that tastes like penicillin. Way better. Um, that honey and ginger, that, that layer of just that little bit of peatiness on top really makes the drink. Um, just gives a totally different dimension that when I first tried it, I was like, no, nah, that doesn't taste right. Amazing drink, guys. Check out uh, a lot of Sam Ross's cocktails are fantastic. Uh, Steve the bartender has been doing a few on there. I love his uh, show as well. And uh, I can see why he does a few Sam Ross cocktails because they are fantastic. Please like, subscribe. See you again soon, guys, and let's talk drinks.